Uh, I'm with uh, Kern Egmont. He's from Royal Huskening DHV. He's a product owner of Smart Mooring. Now, Kern, you're exhibiting here in the Safety Village at TOC Europe. Uh, what are you talking to delegates about? Uh, the main topic of our product is uh, mooring safety. So the vessels inside the ports or at exposed terminals uh, to, to sea and swell influences, they move with the environmental conditions. So if you have wind or waves acting on your vessel, everything starts to move. Normally that is not a big problem. However, the mooring lines can snap if they're overloaded. And every year there are incidents across the globe with vessels breaking loose from the quay causing damages, but also snap back of the snapping mooring lines kills people every year. So what we do is we bring uh, science, numerical modeling based on the science, combine it with the weather predictions and the wave predictions and give actionable insights to port authorities and vessel operators to predict a few days in advance if their vessel will be safe at a certain berth in a port or at an exposed tip. And who's using your product? So you're getting a, a good take up? Yeah, we have multiple ports now across the world using it, mainly port authorities, but recently we've also had a lot of interest from shipping companies, especially cruise liners, as uh, cruise vessels break away from uh, keys quite often actually, and also are quite uh, public if an incident occurs. So we see that there's a big drive from that sector now to improve on the safety uh, because of the very public nature of all the incidents happening there. And has uh, Top Europe helped you to, to meet some, uh, some new leads, some new contacts who can hopefully adopt this technology? Yeah, a few. Uh, this is normally not exactly where we are at because it mostly is more focused on the land side on the terminal. So a lot of crane operations, a lot of uh, uh, trucks, uh, mo movements, etc. Uh, but we've had quite some interesting uh, discussions with port authorities and terminal operators looking at this and seeing the benefits. Uh, and also with different parties also supplying sensors that can feed back into our um, software. So if you have measurements, we can use those measurements again to make everything more accurate and better uh, predict incidents. Well, Kern, thank you for joining us here at Talk Europe and uh, for being part of the TT Club Safety Village. Thank, thank you. you very much.